this is my 2019 Telecaster kit built from uh, solo music gear in Canada. I've upgraded it with a different pick card than the original one. That's why that little hole is there. Changed the bridge to a fender bridge with Graftech saddles. Changed the bridge pickup, uh, sorry, the neck pickup to uh, Fender Gen 4 Noiseless. The bridge pickup is still the original uh, kit pickup because the Gen 4 Noiseless um, bridge pickup has screwed up the installation. So that, uh, that pickup is no good uh, until I can get it rewired. Uh, changed the switch and I changed the two potentiometers so the volume and the tone pot so it's a thin line telly essentially uh, has maple fretboard with uh, dot inlays and I added a graph tech nut as well sounds good plays good very comfortable big problem is the volume pot I uh, wired it myself soldered it myself and the volume doesn't go all the way to zero so there's still signal that goes through so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it apart we're gonna take out uh, take off the strings take off the neck because the pick card fits underneath the neck so I can't take off the pick card to get to the electronics without uh, taking off the neck. So I'm going to take off the neck, take off the pick card, and we're going to see if there's a problem with the ground on the volume pot, because I believe that's going to be the problem. This is the back of the guitar. Uh, back of the guitar, you know, standard neck plate. This is my first project guitar, kit guitar. And originally it had a top loader bridge, which, yeah, again, this is a inexpensive kit that I've made a much more valuable guitar in terms of the cost of what I put into it. Whether that adds value, it adds value for me, so it's good. These are, uh, I made it a string through by drilling the holes. It's a little crooked, but gets the job done. You can't really tell if you don't look at the back. Didn't really flush it uh, to the body the way I wanted it to. Let me try to get a view from this angle here. But you can see it's still proud of the back of the, of the body, but it does the trick. Uh, it's the back of the neck, which is polyurethane finish. And then the shallower locking tuners, which are the first big upgrade. Uh, they're a little heavy, so it does have a little bit of neck dive to it, because again, it's a thin line, so uh, it doesn't have the body weight to match the tuners, but I don't really play standing up that often, so the, the neck dive is not really that much of a big deal. And then this is just the output jack plate uh, that came with the kit. Never really changed that. <laughs> off the pick guard. Do a quick reveal to see what's underneath. 
Again, can't take it all the way off because it's secured. And there's a grounding screw. And bring the camera to the other side. Of the back shot in here. All right, so this is my mess of a wiring job. My real concern is whether or not pull some of this through here so I can flip this over if I can can I flip it will it flip it won't flip just my angle here I just need to see that this is may not be properly grounded so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here on this lug here, first lug, right about there. I gotta fix that solder joint because that's the grounding lug for the volume pot, which needs to be grounded fully to the base or the back of the, the potentiometer. <laughs> which I have a feeling the solder joint is no, no good. Either that or the pot's gone bad. I don't think the pot's bad because it does work. It just doesn't work all the way down to zero. So I'm gonna try to re-solder that joint. So I'm gonna heat it up, take the solder off, and then re-solder it and see if that gives us a full control on the volume. Be right back. Right. Heating up the soldering iron. I got a brand new tip for the soldering iron, so it's a thinner tip. I was using a, the original tip that came with this one. Uh, realized that I needed, uh, focus, there we go. Uh, I needed a smaller tip. It's a little finer work. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here on the volume pot, just down here. Try not to burn myself. And we're gonna get the ground redone on the ground lug. And we'll see if that makes a difference. Go. All right, now we're gonna solder to this lug here. I'm gonna redo the solder joint there. <laughs> hopefully without destroying anything else that's set up here. So I'm gonna just try to get rid of some of the solder that's on there, because it may be cold. Now I've totally disconnected it. So now what we'll do is we'll reconnect it. Because it's now totally ungrounded. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push that piece back on as close as I can, bend that lug down. I'm gonna refloat the solder in that spot and hope I don't mess it up. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go around from the back and get the back of the pot hot.
All right. Now let's put it back together, test the volume, see if it works. All right, so it didn't work before. Trust me, I know I didn't show, show it not working, but it would only go down to about maybe 50% of the volume, but some of the signal would still come through. So now this is it, volume's all the way up. Volume's all the way down, quiet. I fixed my problem on my guitar. like this video hit the like button subscribe it's the first video hopefully more to come check you later